Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching The Sit Down. Daniel Isn't Real. Out right now. This guy's in it. Miles Robbins. I'm in the movie. What's up, man? Good How's to meet you. How's it going? Good to meet you, too. Thanks for coming in. Of course. I really like this chair. Yeah, you're going to be swiveling. This happens Is this day. really <laughs> fun? <laughs> okay, cool. Listen, you've I'll done interviews it, yeah, okay. today. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy yourself. Just, okay, cool. I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to be a professional. Here. I like it. It, okay. it seems like you enjoyed yourself in this one, maybe in kind of a dark, sort of crazy way, but... This is a pretty fascinating watch, so how yeah. did you jump into the whole thing? Well, it's definitely a lot of fun to do all the, uh, the you know, prosthetics mm -hmm. and kind of uh, spookies. Um, the horror, you know, horror genre is uh, a great place to play and uh, do fun stuff like that, movie magic stuff. Um, I love movie magic stuff. Mm -hmm. I love doing special effects and this kind of thing because... If there wasn't movie magic, we'd just be watching plays, right? Yep. So um, get a little boring after. Which is, more. you know, but you know, it, hey, like I, I love a good play, but if we're doing a movie, like let's go all the way there Absolutely. and have some spaghetti monsters and stuff. You know, <laughs> definitely let's, some let's, of that. Yeah, in let's do that. Yeah. So that was fun, um, and yeah, I mean, it's a really, uh, it's a really dark movie, and it was pretty tough, uh, but. I got to work with this guy, this beautiful man. Uh, he was a really kind person, a mm. lot nicer than his character is. Mm. Well, that's good. And yeah, thank <laughs> you, for, thank God for that. Um, and yeah, you know, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good time that we had, I think. That's awesome. Um, did you guys know each other before? No, not before, um, but we met and did not dislike each other. So that was Another a, positive a big bit. win. And then yeah. we got to enjoy working together, which is uh, is yeah is really a pleasure. So it seems like there are parts of this that were probably tough to film, just from an emotional standpoint, yeah. just from like a design <laughs> standpoint. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What were some of the different challenges that you faced along the way? Um, I mean, I think it's tough making a horror movie. I learned for the first time. I mean, I was in Halloween, where mm -hmm. um, you know that's a horror movie, but my character only spends about thirteen seconds being frightened. Right. Um, and. Uh, this uh, this was my first experience of spending like a month where every day I was like in terror or being tortured psychologically. And so, um, I mean, not every single day, but for most mm -hmm. of it. Uh, and uh, and yeah, that, that that's that's tough. I mean, I really gained a lot of respect for horror actors because your body doesn't really know it's fake mm -hmm. and uh, it can be really taxing. So when I look at what some actors have done in some horror films before. I, I got a lot of uh, respect for that now. What are some of your favorite horror films? Uh, well, recently, I mean, I just really loved uh, Midsummer. Mm -hmm. recently. I mean, I also love uh, Hereditary. I think Ari's really, really clever, um, really great filmmaking, That those movies. Uh, and Florence was really, really great in Midsummer. That's, I think, someone who I kind of uh, very recently appreciated their <laughs> their work in the in the traumatic acting kind of uh, genre. Um, but hey, I mean, I love uh, House is one of my favorite movies mm. ever made, the Japanese horror film. Um, uh, Rosemary's Baby, uh, Twenty Eight Days Later is one of my favorite films ever, and I think that a lot of it is about what the genre can do. Uh, in giving you the tools to talk about social issues mm -hmm. without being too uh, on the nose. Right. Um, you can use metaphor and abstraction to kind of give the audience an impression of something that, uh, but with a, with a delivery method that's a little bit more subtle maybe. Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, really, really nice uh, to be able to do that with genre films. Yeah, and absolutely. This has a bit of that in there too, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. And I think it's nice that you have this whole range of films because like even just the ones you brought up are pretty specific. Like the sure. fact that your your acting now is informed by all that, like do you find that that's benefited you along the way so far? Uh, sorry, so, so, and so like how, in how, terms of like the range of movies that you reference that you've watched from when you were a kid to now, like do you think that's informed the actor that you are or just the art that you're making? Sure, yeah. I mean, I think that uh, you know we're all just kind of uh, drinking from the same bowl mm -hmm. over and over. Um, I uh, I don't think that I'm particularly heady about acting. I don't really look at 
what other actors do and say like, I don't know, gonna do that, man. <laughs> I feel um, like there are a lot of heady actors. It's nice to hear. Maybe that you're not yeah. Worried. No, I think that. I mean, for me, I think acting is kind of about trying not to act, like just trying to exist mm -hmm. in in someone else's shoes, not think too much about what you're doing. Um, I mean, there's certainly styles of acting that that are very grandiose and kind of, uh, but I think that nowadays everything's getting a little more uh, restrained. I think after like the mumblecore kind mm. of movement, things are are uh, becoming more and more uh, lifelike yeah. when it comes to to performing on the screen. So I just try to kind of uh, live in it and uh, do my best job because uh, I'm super lucky to be able to do it mm -hmm. as a job. Yeah. So I, I think that perspective <laughs> is really important. Yeah, dude. I think that the best thing that anyone can do when they're acting is just be grateful for the opportunity to do it because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people want to do it. It's a really fun job. And uh, I think that if you're grateful, it means that you do a better job with it because mm. you uh, try to show your appreciation through that kind of, uh, you know, serious work. Right. Hopefully don't take yourself seriously. I hope I don't ever take myself <laughs> seriously, but, uh, you know, try to take the thing seriously. And Well, I think being grounded is really important. I mean, like, you've seen it from the time you were a kid to now. Like, we put celebrities on a different pedestal. And I'm sure it's, like, it's a weird thing when, you know, mom and dad are treated differently, and you're just like, why is it like that, you know? So how have you kind of wrapped your head around just celebrity culture, you know, that Yeah, kind of thing? well, you know, honestly, to be honest, like, that's probably the best phrasing of a question about my parents that I've ever had because, yeah, it, it, it is just weird to uh, grow up with that. They're just my parents, yep. you know, and they're not, like, they never tried to make me an actor mm -hmm. or anything, and I just was like, you know, they were like, what, how, how'd the test go? You know, I don't know. <laughs> right, the, just like regular parents. parents. They're yeah. like, do you eat your breakfast? 